Hey, what's going on? It's DJ Madam AD, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'll share a valuable technique that transforms your DAW mixes into well-balanced tracks, ensuring they will sound great on any speakers thanks to the power of AI. So I am currently inside of Cubase 13, ready to dive into production of a track title, Silo De. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is let you hear a little bit of this track so you understand what's going on. Currently, I have everything turned off on the master, and the only thing that I'm gonna be using is this magical plugin by Sonobo called Smart EQ4. <laughs> The first thing you gotta do, you gotta find a reference track that sounds semi-similar or as close as possible to the track that you're working with. So you're gonna go to this menu right here, go all the way down to load preference, and you're gonna search for a track. In this case, we're gonna use this really cool track by Mike Towers called La La La. We're gonna double click on it, and you're gonna get this window right here. First thing is name the profile. It already named it for me. And at the bottom it says source type. Click on that, and I normally just put Universal Mix. Uh, in this case, I already saved it, so that's why it says Profile Name is already in you. If you click on Universal, you go all the way down to Preferences, you're gonna see it right there that says La 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 Mike Towers. So now I'm gonna select that profile. It's gonna give me this profile curve. So now I'm gonna play the track, and while it's playing, I'm gonna press the record button so the AI can learn the profile of my track. <laughs> And that's it. That's all you have to do. Check this out. And after. Before. And after. You can definitely hear it in the high end. If you navigate to the bottom, you will see this option that says adaptive. I like to put this in 80% and what this does, it turns the dynamics of the EQ so it follows the curve. So if you're a person that makes a lot of beats, but you're not that great at mixing and mastering, this is definitely the plugin for you. Full disclosure, I am not being sponsored by Sonable, but I do love their products. So if you want to check it out, make sure to go to sonable.com. And if you like these types of videos, make sure to follow, subscribe, hit a like, hit a comment, and let me know what else you want to see. Thank you for watching and I'll check you on the next.